Hello, movers and shakers. Let me ask you a question, please. Are you having trouble finding the right movers for your job? Are you having a difficult finding good guys that have their head on their shoulders enough to actually do the job that you're hiring them to do at, with a good result? If so, I just might have a solution for you. Stay tuned. Hi guys, I'm Jay Burnham and this is the Six Figure Moving Academy. Thank you for coming to the video. A little bit of uh, house cleaning. Please, if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. When you're done doing that, then I want you to hit the little bell icon next to the sub subscribe button. That way you will be informed of when I do my new video. So today guys, I'm gonna be talking to you about contracted labor versus hiring moving help, okay? Now let's get the difference between contract and moving labor aside, okay? When I talk about contract and moving labor, I'm not talking about the guys that you would hire from hire a helper or movie, uh, moving helper or any of these third party labor sites. I'm not talking about hiring people from those sites. You can do that if you're on a budget. However, that said, I don't recommend them. Most of these guys are two crackheads with a rusted pickup that are just looking to make enough money so that they could find their next hit, okay? There are some guys that are on that, on that list that are very, very good. Don't get me wrong. And some of the contracted labor that I'm talking about actually do reside on the moving labor and hire helper, and they're awesome. Okay, but there's going to be a difference. For the most part, the generality of it is the guys that are on like hire helper or moving late or moving helper.com. These are not, in generally speaking, are not the guy and guys I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is contracted moving labor. These are the guys that have decades, years, and decades of experience. They're, they're used to be owner operators themselves from the major van lines. They work for the major van lines. So when they're not doing something with the van lines, they're, they're out hustling. These are the guys that you're going to find on the Facebook groups, such as USA Movers app or Movers Life. Um, and some of these other uh, groups that require, uh, that are focused towards um, uh, HHG uh, type of uh, moving sites. These guys, they, uh, like the You Relax guys, these guys are listed. They, they work with all the major van lines. They have years of experience. They know how to pack. They know how to inventory. They know how to keep stuff safe. They, they bring their own tools in a lot of cases. Um, they bring their own dollies, tools. Uh, sometimes they bring their own um, uh, floor mats and, and so on and so forth. And all you have to do is provide them the job in a lot of cases. Now, this is what I'm talking about, contracted labor. Now, these guys, most of them, to work for the major van lines on a regular basis like they do, they have to be background checked. So you don't have to do a background check on these guys, right? These guys know how to load. These guys will put multiple, uh, you know, they'll carry on their front and on their back multiple boxes. They'll hump, you know, they're the guys with the hump straps you see with the four, five, six boxes and they got the hump strap and they're leaning over and they're walking. This is the contract labor that I'm talking about. Now, you know, you can go and hire a um, moving helper, uh, moving people, moving help to help you with your, your jobs. You can find the guys that are, um, have some experience. Maybe you hire uh, some guys from two men in a truck, or maybe you hire some from another moving company. But most of these guys don't have the experience, training, or service concept that most of these contracted labors do. You have to actually train that into them, and that takes a lot of time. And a lot of the times, you're hiring these guys they don't have any experience. Some have maybe a little bit of experience, but most of them are the drop and drape guys. And what I'm talking about drop and drape, and which is nothing wrong with it, is uh, they take a piece of furniture, they take it out to the truck, and then they'll put a blanket or two on the piece. This is this is okay if you're uh, if you're going for budget, if you're a budget mover, um, so on like that, and you're going for local moves, short distance. This is kind of an okay and, and valid way to do the moving camp. But what I'm talking about is these guys, they'll come in, 
take a piece of furniture before they even leave. They'll have wrapped it, taped it up, used rubber bands, whatever it is, uh, material that you have, they'll use it. They'll make sure that your, uh, the chair, the, the couch, the refrigerator, everything is actually 100% copacetic, ready to go even before it leaves the house. Now, I, I too have been having a lot of trouble getting the good guys, hiring the good guys. Because when the, the guys come in, whatever you, whatever source, whether you're using Facebook, you're using Craigslist, um, even Indeed, some of these guys just do not have the service concept. They don't have the work ethic. They don't know how to do it. They haven't been trained how to do it correctly. Now, if you're a one-man band, it's hard to get out there and actually train them. But that is actually what you need to do if you want to make them a good guy to make sure that they know what they're doing. These are the kind of guys you want to do. But a lot of them are just looking for the paycheck. They're going to milk the clock. They're, these are the guys that, you know, you know, it's five o'clock, it's beer 30. We're out of here. We don't care about you after that. You know, they're off doing their own thing. And, and God bless these guys. I, I hope they find the jobs that they, they're, they're looking for that will pay them the way they want to be paid. And, and you know, I, I wish them all the best of luck. However, that is not the kind of guy I want my foreman. I want the kind of guy that's going to work hard, that's going to work fast, that knows the work ethic, that, it, it, that takes pride in their jobs and, and will get them done and they and they go on to do something else. Now, the good thing about this contracted labor, here's some of the positives about the contracted labor. The contracted labor that I'm talking about that worked for the van lines, one, they're gonna be background checked. So you know that they're good guys. Yes, they might be into, you know, they might smoke weed or whatever off duty, but they're gonna be professional. They're gonna be background checked. They're gonna know how to wrap furniture. They're gonna know how to load furniture and load it tightly and get it into a small amount of area. So they know how to maximize the, the space in the truck to pack as much stuff as they possibly can on one truck. Get the difference, okay? So they know how to maximize the space, Tetris the stuff in like they're supposed to and get it going. So that's some of the good things. Another one of the good things is, is they also work for other uh, van line companies and other movers at various different times. So these guys definitely fit the definition of 1099. They don't work for you strictly. They work for other moving companies and other van line companies. So you don't have to worry about whether they're, if someone comes in and says, okay, are these guys 1099, you know, you know, you don't have to worry about whether or not they're getting jobs from another company or doing other jobs, making another money. Secondly, a lot of these guys, they know the risk and they know if they get harmed that they, uh, that they will cover their own insurance, which is also a good thing. Sometimes you have to ask, hey, are you insured? If they're not, then hopefully you have some sort of insurance claim or will help them out or do something. But a lot of these guys are self-employed. They know, hey, if they get hurt on the job, that's, that's the risk they're taking. So this is also a good thing, right? So you don't have to worry about that. Ideally, you should have workman's cop uh, insurance anyway. Um, but it's hard when you're using uh, these contracted laborers to have workman's comp policies for them um, versus the hired labor. Now, you, maybe you're good. You got the you got the businesses large enough that you can actually go out and have somebody that's trained, that's actually knows what they're doing. Um, and if not, then you're going to have to train them. And that could be a pain in the butt. And if they're not the greatest of guys, they don't have the greatest of work ethic, it could be frustrating because it seems like it's a revolving door. Um, so I've been using the contracted labor uh, exclusively now for my moves. I have stopped using hired help because it's just become too exhausting, too uh, powerful. The problem is, the, bad, the, the cons on it is that the contracted labor is costing me a lot more than my hired help labor is. The positive on that side is they also do a hundred times better job, which gets me more referrals, which gets me more jobs, which allows me to charge more for my services. So in essence, using contracted labor is something that I would encourage you to look at. And it's not hard to find these guys versus hiring your own moving labor. All right especially if you're very new. Yes, spend a little bit more 
than you normally would and hire these contracted laborers. Now here comes the difficulty. If you don't have your own trucks and you have to rent trucks, this is going to be this is going to take a big bite out of your money that you're getting unless you're charging commensurate for the rental trucks and mileage that you have to pay plus the labor, right? Because moving using moving trucks that are rented is a huge expense, right? So that makes it more difficult to use contracted labor. So my encouragement is use the contracted labor, get the good reviews, start charging a lot more, and then buy a good used truck, whatever that might be, right? So contracted labor is definitely how you should go. Now, as you get bigger, as you get going stronger and you're getting more good positive reviews, you're charging more, you're, you're on the higher end of the scale, which is awesome where you want to be, and you're actually going to be a lot more, you're going to be busier because you're going to find that the referrals are coming in left, right, and center, and you're going to start increasing on referrals. So that's an awesome thing. So using the contracted labor, once you get up to the time, you start buying a truck, now you, got, now you can really afford the contracted labor. What I would like you to do then is start building relationships with the contracted labor, especially notice one or two guys that are just kick ass, that are just, just positive. And then what you would do is you would approach them, get their number and say, hey, look, I know you're doing this and that's awesome. I think you're great. But I would like to offer you a full-time position. I would like to offer you to be my general manager or my crew leader or whatever it is and give them a, a, give them a, a position inside the company and actually get them using that. And that way, as you're using contracted labor, you could also be bringing in hired help that would be training under the contracted labor. Um, and then you'll be actually, and then you'll reverse that, that uh, negative uh, curve, if you will, um, of the bad hired guys. You'll actually start bringing in the good guys who are starting to get trained like they are. They'll start, you'll be able to start paying them just like you're paid your contracted labor. And you'll start getting a better and better and bigger and bigger, right? It comes down to using the right guys um, to do the job so that you get the reviews. And the best way to do that is using contracted laborers. Again, I'm not talking about the, uh, the higher helper guys. I'm not talking about moving helper guys. Although some of these contracted laborers do go to and use those services, um, and that's fine. My suggestion is you go to Facebook, find the groups that are on Facebook, like USA Movers app or Movers Life uh, Facebook group. Uh, join those groups. And then if you're a laborer, um, apply to be on their mover labor provider list, right? If you're looking for moving laborers, they'll have a list. Like Movers Life has a, an Excel spreadsheet that has all the recommended high quality moving labor guys that will load, pack, and do everything you need them to do, whatever it is. If you need them to inventory, if you need them to pack, need them to unpack, need them to load, unload, these guys know how to do it. Use their list and then you, it gives the name, gives their email address, gives their phone numbers. You can find them on Facebook and say, hey, look, I found you on Movers Life or USA Movers app or wherever you found them. Um, I'm very interested in, uh, I, I've got this job and I need, I need three guys to do a load and unload for a local move. Um, can they meet me at such and such a place? And then you'll find that, yes, he'll have a crew available for you or he can get a crew that will be working. Now, I did this. I started working with this guy. His guy's name's Harold. If you're watching, Harold, hey, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. And I, this is the agreement I worked out. So I'm going to be on every move um, that I do uh, to just to be there as a supervisor, to take the pictures, to, to smooge with the owners, so, and do the social media stuff while these guys are doing it. Right, and as I build up and I get better and better, higher reviews. As I as I increase my reputation and I re and I keep going, I'm then going to start hired, and I'm going to approach Harold or approach some of the other guys that I've worked for and say, "Hey, look, here's the thing. I'm really super busy. I've got enough work to keep you busy full time. How would you come like to work for me? Be my general manager. Make sure that you know to be able to do all of this." And I think you'll find a good guy. And that's how you're going to build your business from 
from the ground up. So look at, look who you can find, go to those Facebook groups, find out who's in your state, who's in your area and contact them. Say, Hey, look, I'm just starting up a moving business. I'd like to talk to you about hiring some of you and some of your guys to help me with my moves. Would you be interested? If so, what can we, you know, what can we negotiate as far as price for on certain prices? Now, be will be prepared to be paying like somewhere like around twenty dollars an hour, or or probably like one hundred twenty to one hundred fifty, even two hundred dollars for a flat fee on some of these guys. Some guys won't do it unless they get like a four hour or three hour or four hour minimum. So even if like if you got a labor only job and you're only going to get paid two hundred and fifty bucks, and the moving labor is going to cost you one hundred and sixty because they got a a four hour mini uh, at twenty bucks each. Uh, uh, $20 per hour, you know, so it's going to cost $80 per guy. Is that going to be worth it? Um, if you're new, I think it is. Even if you're only going to walk away with $100 or $75 off of that job and you're paying, paying uh, the guys the majority of it, if it's a labor only, like a load or an unload, that, that's worth it because what's going to happen is these guys are going to work really, really hard. They're going to work really well. They're going to get it done. They're going to rock and roll. And you're going to get a good positive review as a result. And that review wants to build up. Once you get about 10 positive reviews, whatever platform you're using, whether it's Yelp, Thumbtack, Home Advisor, Angie's List, Google, Facebook, that are positive five-star reviews, then that's when, that's when life's going to start changing for you. Right, that's when you can start charging more. That's when you can start charging. Well, I'm not gonna uh, doing whatever you're gonna do, and you can start charging a lot more. So, and make more profit. But in the meantime, if you're just starting out, use contracted labor. Consider using that, Be because then you don't have to worry about hiring guys. Yes, you can't do those the small little dinky jobs like moving a couch up a flight of stairs or moving it across the hall or delivering a couch from one house to another house, which are great. And those are a great way to build up uh, uh, people, a uh, great reputation, uh, you know, build up uh, uh, people along the way when you're new to start. Uh, but you could, get, you could hire a friend to do that for at 12 bucks an hour or 15 bucks and just say, hey, offer that. But you using contracted labor is for your bigger jobs to start off with. I really suggest you start looking in contracted labor versus hiring some guys. Maybe hiring a, uh, some guys that you will do the smaller jobs for you that, that you can work with um, and then go from there. Okay, guys, hopefully this was a good video. You enjoyed it. You liked it. If so, give me a thumbs up. Right. Make sure you share this. Leave me a comment. Let me know how what your experiences on contracted labor or hiring people are, or what your difficulties in in hiring people, or if you're fi hard, finding a hard time finding contracted labor. I'll help you out. Okay, guys. Also, I'm going to try to leave uh, uh, the the URLs to these Facebook groups that I mentioned inside the description so that you can go to them and uh, start contacting them. And please, guys. Make sure you share this with all your family and friends, and you guys have a great day. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.